Hi, I'm Jonathan Hillman, the product manager for Studio One with Presonus. And I wanted to show you some new stuff in uh, the upcoming version of Studio One. It's going to be a free update. You'll see it uh, not too long from now. Um, so if you're familiar with Studio One, we have a feature called Track Transform. Track Transform is a very cool thing where uh, it's basically like freezing, um, but we allow you to edit everything afterwards. So you, once you've frozen something um, in rendered audio, you're not stuck there. So the very cool thing that we can do now is multi-output track transform. So track transform, uh, in this case, I'm going to show you real quick, is an instrument track. It's a single instrument um, with a single output, transform to audio track. And what this does is turn an instrument track into an audio track in place. Okay, That's very cool. The limitation has been that if that is a drum sampler or if it's, uh, let's say it's contact, which has multiple outputs. So in this case, we have a drum track that has six outputs in our mixer. Um, we couldn't turn a single instrument track into multiple audio tracks, and now we can. So with this drum track, I can say transformed audio track. There's a new option, render all channels. When I say that, it will render six tracks because there's six outputs for this virtual instrument and replace that one instrument track with six um, audio tracks. And you can just barely see because of the colors here, but there's note information tied to this audio. Um, and that's how you know that it came from um, an instrument track. The coolest part about all this, of course, is that you can go back to an instrument track. So I could be editing these drums, moving things around, duplicating, copying, and pasting as audio. And then if I decide, well, I need to go change some notes, or I wanted to change that part, I can say transform to instrument track. And it knows that those six audio tracks came from a single instrument track. And now I'm back to my single instrument track. It's a very, very cool feature. So I'll transform this back to audio track real quick. Show you the next cool thing. So with Studio One 2, uh, we introduced folder tracks. And our folder tracks are kind of cool because um, it's not just a folder to clean up things, you can associate uh, an audio bus with a folder so that everything in the folder goes to a bus and the mixer together. Uh, and we've made folder tracks cooler by now allowing you to edit on a folder track. So if I try to size this track up a little bit for you so you can see this, you can see that there's audio in this folder track now. You can see the waveforms there. And if I come down here, I can edit on the folder track directly. So I'm cutting, um, I can move things around, um, I can duplicate. And of course, what's happening inside the folder track is that all, of, all of the things in the folder track are getting edited together. So folder tracks have been improved. Um, and along the same lines, we've also now added the ability to re-record um, the output of a bus. So I just routed everything in this folder track to a bus, right? So in the mixer, we have a bus called drums. Let's say that is being routed out to a distressor, an analog distressor in my rack. It sounds great. I want to print that. It's kind of an old school term, but lots of people still do this. So now in Studio One, if I were to add a stereo track here, um, try this down so you can see it, the input for this track can be the output of the drums bus. So now if I record enable this track and I go back and hit record, those drums are being printed real time as a new audio track. And you can do that with instrument tracks as well. So um, sometimes you have a big complex instrument thing and you want it as audio. Or you play an instrument part with the idea that I want to reverse that. I want the audio and I want to reverse it. And this is a really neat way to be able to do that. Um, some other very cool improvements um, are on the way, there's actually, um, I wanna say there's a hundred improvements or so, I haven't counted them all yet. So, um, you know, when we, when we release this, it's a major, major upgrade, and it basically is completing a lot of the things. Another good example of this, the last thing I'll show you real quick, is um, comping. So our comping solution um, is actually quite good as it is, and we've made it a little bit better. So how do we make it better? Um, now, in, in comping, we have the system of promoting things from layers up to a track. And the promotion got easier. Basically, as soon as I select a range, it beams up to the track, and it's instantly a part of an audio part if it's already there, um, or um, you're just single events. And then 
there's also a context menu now where I can rename this. Um, for instance, good take or bad take. And then um, basically we've, we've just sort of completed the loop of things that we wanted to do this in the initial release and we're just coming back and sort of filling in the gaps of things that we couldn't get to to begin with. So this is a major, major free update that you'll see very, very soon um, and we're very proud of it and we can't wait for you to have it. Thanks a lot.